Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Feel Good Painting Pouring Station. This is Garrick Brown, and once again, I am back with another video. This time with friends, this is another TLP, this little pigment collab, and we are showcasing some brand new pigments. I have picked four out of the arsenal to kind of play around with, so I hope you are really excited for this journey. Before we get started, you know, I just want to come to you and remind you, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. Now, before we get started, let me talk to you about these pigments. I, I mixed all of my pigments up the same way, and you will see in just a moment uh, the amount that I put in my cup. All right, so I have three ounce cups, and I use about two ounces of pouring medium with my pigments, and they are popping. <laughs> so we're going to get started, but before we do, also come paint with me in Dallas, Texas. Um, a blur will be at the end of this video. I'm going to be painting with lots of friends um, at the Fluid Art Experience, and you are in for a amazing treat and a lot of shenanigans and antics because you know that is my style along with a lots of love and lots of painting i'm pulling out all the stops all of my secrets all of my tips and i cannot wait to see you there that information is listed be below and lastly i am on patreon and my patreons will get some exclusive behind the scenes of the fluid art experience so Go ahead and join. I have a number of different membership levels. Today I am pouring with four different brand new pigments. I'm super excited. This is Zeus, okay? And I just want to kind of show you what it looks like mixed up. And this is the pigment in the bag. So you can see it retains its color. And you saw how much I put in my cup. And this is a three ounce cup. And I have right now about two ounces of pouring medium. So you can see that it has a nice rich color. But I didn't use a whole, whole lot of pigment. And the longer it sits, the more potent it gets. Um, I think, now this is just me, I think the mica continues to break down after you mix it so that color gets a little bit richer. And next we have Hammerhead. It's a really beautiful bluish gray color, mostly blue. Um, super vibrant though. Ooh, look at that. And you'll see that all of these pigments are almost the exact same color as you see in the bag okay all of them were mixed the exact same way this is escavera and it is like a emerald like a it's like an emerald green. I would like to call it like a fairy tooth emerald green. Okay. And you can see the color stays true. I love that about TLP. You know exactly what you're getting. And it really doesn't take much. I see a lot of people really over using too much pigment um, when they don't really have to. And lastly, we have Agapanthus. Okay. So here it is in the bag. And once again, the color is spot on. This is one of my favorite colors. It's definitely a purple color, but it has a really pretty sh um, shimmer and silver tint to it when it dries. So we're going to be pouring with these colors today. So today I'm combining two techniques here. I'm going to use my swipe technique and... For my base paint, I'm actually going to use a straight pour, ring pour type of deal. So here is what I would call my base paint. Okay, I've made it in black and white. This is 70% Elmer's glue. 
to 20% Floetrol to 10% water, okay? And then I mix it with my black paint so it does not leave a trail. Well, it leaves a very light trail. It is light, but it's thick at the same time. It's very hard to describe. Here is the white, so I'm going to combine the two. Um, I do the same thing. I make my white just a tad thicker because sometimes that black eats up the white. So I just make it a touch thicker on purpose. So the recipe is about the same. Um, just add a little bit more white paint to the mix. All right, I'm using two cups here. And you've probably seen me do this before. I'm going to take a little black and start. And a little white. And we're just going to kind of alternate back and forth to get our two cups. I'm going to take a look at my cup. So cool. Cups are not identical, but they're very similar. All right, I'm going to take both cups and pour them out. Not trying to do the same design in both. So I'm going to do kind of a ring pour, uh, mostly a straight pour and wandering pour. Uh, so we're just going to kind of plop down here. Hey, really, really pretty. All right, we're gonna pour once again. Ooh, I love the pattern in this one. Much different from our first one, so to speak. OMG, isn't that just dreamy? Just the look that black and white create just never ceases to amaze me. That beautiful contrast. And we have some pretty 
cool uh, sales and things going on here. Lots of black this time. Lots of black. All right, so I'm going to spread some of the extra black around the perimeter. So Zeus is the color that I want to really showcase in this piece. Um, so I'm gonna lay it down first for my swipe because I just think this with black and white is just drop dead gorgeous. So we're gonna take some Zeus here. Next, we have a little hammerhead. Along with a little Agapanthus. And lastly, Escavera. All right, so here's my cell activator. This is mixed three to one, three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint. All right, we're gonna load that onto our, our swipe tool. This is a number 16. I got it at Hobby Lobby. All right, so we have our paint on our sweat tool. And we're just going to gently place down. Might have just a little too much on my stick here. And we're just going to swipe. Oh, that's really pretty. Super soft and pretty. Even got a pretty pattern on my swipe tool afterwards. And we're gonna turn our painting.
And now we're gonna take it for another swipe here. Gonna take a little more Zeus. With just a hint of our other colors. And this time we're just gonna kind of swipe it through here. Oh, that was a really good swipe. I love how that one came out. And I'm also gonna take this and kind of run it. So I'm just gonna line my swipe tool up with the edge of this, kind of pull it. So I'm loving this pass through and I'm thinking that I want to do some more. Please check out the other amazing artists in this collab. There is a playlist in the description and you will see some amazing things from these wonderful artists. More cell activator. So I have my petals, if you will, from the various swipes. And now we're gonna tilt. I love these last couple of swipes that I did. So gorgeous there. I deliberately left that white area. I'm gonna see if I can hold on to some of it for some interest once we tilt. I like to do my swipes near edges so that I can always tilt the starts of them off if I want to where I started the swipe um, so it gives it like an endless look. That's my little tip for today. <laughs> okay, so I just want to see where the weight of the paint is. Got some good movement here in our paint.
Ooh, look at that left corner. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, I'm loving it. My friends, look at this white section. OMG. Can you get, mm, cannot get any better than this. Wow, we. Okay. Oh, I love this corner. So glad I didn't lose it. That Zeus is popping. And look at my sales. It's this piece is gonna be very subtle, but I love it. It's super subtle. I stretched out my sales a lot, and so the paints have stretched and it's over that black. Okay. And then this is my favorite swipe because it gets bigger. And then just look at that gorgeous tail. Oh. And that flare off there. I love the composition there. And it's just, ooh, it's just so pretty. Off camera, I did tilt my entire canvas this way to tilt some more paint off. I still have quite a bit of paint on here, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay. It didn't disturb the composition too much, um, but I just want to get you in for a final view. This is going to be really gorgeous. I think I'm going to embellish it. You all know I struggle with embellishment. I just don't know what I want to do quite yet, but here we are. So these are the new TLP pigments. And I think that you should head over and try them for yourself. I will say uh, Zeus and Hammerhead make an amazing couple. Um, and I will be doing more experimenting with those together. Um, that's just something that I really like about those two side by side or intertwined. 